So I'm gonna be doing a wood grain tumbler today. I am going to be doing this with alcohol inks. So let me just show, these are what I mean when I say alcohol inks. I'm gonna be doing green today. So I'm gonna be using two different colors of green. Um, along with the green, I am going to, you will need a couple of more things. Of course, you're gonna need a tumbler. Um, along with the tumbler, you're going to need um, makeup brushes. So I have several different sizes of makeup brushes. I bought these from Walmart for like five or six bucks. Um, you're going to need alcohol because the alcohol is what moves the ink around. So you're going to need some alcohol to do that and um you're going to i just put the alcohol in a little plastic cup so that i don't have to um try to do this from the bottle so along with that you're gonna need some paper towels because if you saw my table it is full of ink right now so you want to make sure that you have some paper towels that'll help dry off your brushes as you're going through your coats so it looks like it's just us right now and for the sake of doing this video and me putting it on YouTube I'm gonna go ahead and get started so um, the first thing that you need to do is open the tops to your inks um, there you go so and then you're just going to um, okay, so somebody asked me this on YouTube when I did my last set of cups. This is done with a glossy ink. You can see this one kind of has a shine on it, but you can use um, ink, not ink, um, paint, spray paint. So this is a glossy white spray paint, but you can use matte spray paint. They both work well. So just thought I'd throw that out there. So you're just going to put a dot of your two colors on and then you're just going to take your biggest brush and you're just going to oh this has red on it from my last color oh no it is always something every time I do a live video I'm going to go get a different brush because I don't want that red on there yikes so I'm going to take that off as best I can uh, 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 uh. Okay, so that was not good. I'm gonna throw that away. I'm getting rid of that alcohol ink because it, that alcohol because it has that red in there. So I'm gonna start over here. I don't know who else is watching, but thank you for joining us. Let me grab my other brush. Ah! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so. Um, so I just bought these from Dollar Tree because I don't use makeup brushes for anything other than this. So um, you're going to use your biggest brush to, and you're going to just put a little bit of alcohol on it. And <laughs> I know, right? I'm crazy. Um, so, ugh. okay. So you're going to just make it just a little damp. You don't want it too wet. Um, and then, like I said, oh, this is a disaster. Okay. Ah, stuff is falling. What in the world? Okay. Ugh. If this was anything else. So I'm cleaning this back off just so y'all can know what I'm doing. All right. So. And I'm cleaning it off with alcohol. So now I'm going to try those drops again. So one of my lighter, one of my darker. If it runs a little bit, it's fine. And then you're just going to take your brush and that's all you're going to do. You're just going to take that ink and put it around the cup. As you can see that I'm doing right here. So you're just going around. When it starts to get super light where you don't want it that light anymore, just take another dark another light and the light and dark together helps give it a more of a wood grain feel to it so you're just going to do that all the way around the cup um until you can get the whole thing covered and then you also want to cover the bottom so 
Y'all let me know if I keep going off camera and I can't, you can't see what I'm doing. So, so as you can see, like right now, the whole cup has some green. Some spots are darker than others. You can go back and add in where you want. You also want to do your bottom. Um, same deal. And I'm going to try not to rush too much through this because then I think you miss some of what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to just take a little bit of the dark and just go around and hit some of the lighter spots over again. But this is a very simple process. You don't use a whole lot of alcohol inks, which is great because the alcohol inks are, you know, just a little expensive. Um, but you can get the alcohol inks from... Um, I get mine from mostly Michaels because they have that coupon, but I today got the green, um, from Hobby Lobby. So just so you know where to buy those from. So once you have done this, where you have a nice little coating, Hey Felicia, how you doing girl? Um, so... <laughs> Once you have coated your whole cup, then the next thing that you're going to do is just start making your knots. So in order to do that, you're going to go to a different size brush. Um, and since my other brushes have red on it from the red cup that is behind me over there, um, I'm not going to use any of those brushes. So again, you're going to take, just dip your brush in the alcohol, use your paper towel that you have down to um to um get some of that alcohol off because you don't want it on too you don't want it too wet because then it will move too much and then all you're gonna do is start moving the alcohol to what to a shape that you want so can y'all see that let me push this down just a little bit hi Felicia um so, so here I'm just going to make like an oval type shape. So, so yes, you can see, is that what you're saying? I hope that means yes, you can see. But as you can see, I'm just pushing. And as you can see, when I push, that it makes that little rim around. So you can just define it however you want. The alcohol on the brush. Yes, ma'am, I can see. Okay, good. So this is going to be the first outer rim of my knot. And then I like to take mine over the bottom because I feel like it gives it a more authentic feel. So I like to make sure that it goes all the way around. And if you feel like you don't, like it's starting to not push the alcohol around the way that you want, then you just dip your brush back into your alcohol a little bit more but see how i have it goes over the bottom and so there's my first knot so to make the knot look more like a knot you're gonna just then just add drops brush them around yikes and then once you coat it a little bit, I just like to get mine to where it's not so light all the time. Um, then you're going to start moving that layer up to the what, what you want it to be. So now I'm making that second um, row of ink inside of my first, if that makes sense, hopefully. So I'm just pushing that ink to make another oval in the inside. And I'm gonna do that all the way through the bottom. Yikes. 
Y'all know I really like <laughs> doing the YouTube where it is me can I where I can go in and edit because these things are a little more nerve wracking, especially when stuff starts falling apart. Ah! So um, the next thing, so I am just going to a smaller brush because this is a smaller cup. Normally I would do a few with that size brush. Um, but again, every time you use a new brush, you want to dip inside, you want to dip inside your alcohol <laughs> and then you want to just start pushing the ink to make another, um, row. I got, I'm using row, but that's not the right word, but that's what I got for y'all right now. So work with my vocabulary here. So, and this is really all about your taste. You know, if you want more smudgy lines or them closer together or farther apart, because my first few ones were like, they were really far apart. Um, and I found that I just like it better with them a little bit closer together. So see, there you have the third. And you just, I mean, this is a, a repetitive process. So you're just gonna continue doing this until you get the knot looking, until you get to the middle of the knot and it's and it looks the way you want it to look. So, um, so I'm just gonna make another row here. And once I start getting to the middle, I kind of like push in both directions um, just so that I, just because I think it looks good. There's no, so that I can do anything. So when I say both directions, you see I've stopped making complete circles. Ooh, it's the light doing that. So, and I'm just making a one here and then one here and one here. So I'm just going back and forth making the next ridge or um, the next ridge. So you just do that till you get to the center and then you just decide whether you want that center to be light or you want that center to be dark. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna put some more in there, which sometimes you can put too much and then you the, the good thing about the alcohol inks is if you don't like something, you just take more alcohol and you erase it. So, and I'll show y'all that in a second. So, I mean, this is, this truly is the process. I need my little brushes. I'm hoping my little ones don't have red. Y'all pray, pray. Let's see, what did it do? I'm gonna try to put this on here. Hopefully it doesn't mess up. Cause I have two brushes that are smaller. So I have this one and one that fell on the floor because that's about how we're doing right now. And I have this one. Boom, 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 boom. So, again, you just, you're just gonna take that alcohol ink and you're just gonna move it. So, I hope y'all can see. And then, like I said, if you have, um, like if I did this and I decided I didn't like that or I didn't want that there, then I just brush back over it and that is gone. And then you just start over with what you do want. So, um, 
So alcohol, this alcohol works really good where you can do stuff like that. So there's my first little knot. Um, I'm going to do one other knot and I think I'm just going to add a little bit more on here all together. Um, do, 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 do. So I can have a little bit darker green. So from here, I'm going to put a knot in the middle. So again, you just dip your brush in your alcohol, dry it off so it's not too wet. And then you just start pushing the alcohol where you want it. So I'm going to make that a nice little size oval circle-y thing here. Hmm. Take your time. They won't shut down until you've been on for four hours. <laughs> okay. I love you. Uh, and hopefully it won't take me no four hours to do no cup. That would be terrible. So once you get as many knots as you want, the next thing that you're going to do is, I like, like this, you can see it already kind of have some lines that kind of give you that look of wood grain, but I like to make it have almost a baseball bat kind of feel. So I go through the whole cup and make additional lines um, through the whole thing. So I'm gonna leave that like that for now or I might come back and change that later. But even though I have four hours, I'm not gonna take four hours. So the next thing that I normally do is I go through and just start making lines around the knot. So as you can see, I'm just going over a space and then I'm making a line all the way down. Um, you can take that line underneath the cup as well. And you can vary um, how far apart your lines are. Sometimes you can come in and use a smaller brush to even give it a little bit of variation that way as well but you're just coming down and going around your last line. So you're gonna do that on both sides. So I will come on this side and then go around the knot this way. Uh, and hopefully you can see that with my hand in the way. So again, I'm just gonna take a little space over and I'm gonna come back up and around so I'm gonna do this around the whole cup and you can see like that looks really good compared to just this 
So those lines just really give it a little extra character. So you wanna just do that all the way around your cup. So I am gonna do this. And then really, once you do that, once you have your knots that you want, and then you put these lines on it, your cup is done. You've done the work. I say um, normally a 20 ounce to 30 ounce cup takes me about an hour from start to finish to do. Um, and that just may be me, me being a little bit of a perfectionist and wanting it done. I think as you know, of course I've only, I've done a few of these now, but so as I do them, you'll get, I'll get quicker and you'll get quicker as you do yours. Um, but like I said, simple process, you know, people see these and they're like, oh my God, how did you do that? And it's really simple. So if I can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> um, yikes. I'm doing it so I can see. So, I mean, like I said, that's pretty much the process. I'm going to like quickly go around this cup just so that you guys can see a finish thing here. And then maybe I'll grab some of the other ones for those of you who are joining me who don't know who I am. So look like this one, just so you can see, sometimes I'll even just go in a complete circle all the way around before I make the lines go out and over. So I'll do that and maybe one more. And then I'll come down and go around. And as you can see, your lines don't have to be super even or super right. Hey, Regina, it's good to see you, girl, or good to, oh, look, hey, Shannon. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Um, but you just go around here. And then if you have a little space like that, you can just kind of fill it. I'll just fill it in with like some little triangle kind of shapes. So, but you just go around. And I mean, like that is it. I mean, so here, like here's another space where these two lines have met. So I'm just gonna go in like a triangle kind of and just go up and down until I run out of space. So, but look, like that is pretty much the whole cup except for right here. And you can decide that you're gonna have some that look like this and then some with the lines. It's all really on what you like and what you prefer. So um, it is all up to you. So I'm just going to put some V's here and look y'all in that amount of time, which I can't see how long we've been on here. This is the whole cup. Like I will come in the bottom. I will do like the bottom. I will make like another knot down here and just put some lines. I'm just, I'm, so I'm just gonna, you can't see that. And this is a little too light for me. I would come back and put a little bit more green on here. But I would just do some lines. And sometimes you can make the lines connect from what you've done on the cup. But, I mean, look at that. Super cute, super quick. I will say, after I do this, I epoxy my cups. 27 minutes. Wow, that's longer than I thought. I will epoxy this cup. But before I epoxy it... <laughs> Um, his is right here. Look, y'all, I do like cups. So, Vic, this is your cup. This is your cup. I just need to put your name on it. Um, but that's for another day. This right here, I'm, I'm going to put some clear coating. And if y'all don't mind, I'll just jump off the stage so y'all can see. So, I use the Krylon Clear Glaze. And I will spray that on this and let it dry before I put the epoxy on it. Because sometimes you put the epoxy on it and stuff might move around. So you don't want that to happen. So, um, but that's it. That is the whole thing. And it's cute and it's cute and it's cute and it's cute. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Please like.
this video. No, look for it on YouTube. Share it, share it, share it. Um, and you know what? I will see you all the next time. Thank you so much.